You want 2K rumors and news? You in the right place. Want a community that's cool? You in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation. We all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. So you don't know. Your boy Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked and mean, with a next video for y'all, man. So we don't get straight into the news. So don't forget to hit the like and share. And if you're first time, hit that subscribe because your boy gonna always keep you all up on everything 2K. Now, is this a coincidence that 2K made this post the day after they had the 2K community sign the new TOS, which pretty much give them full freedom to take anything of yours with no consequences on their end <laughs> when it comes to NBA 2K. So they made this post saying, micro event update. We have identified certain players in recent NBA 2K24 micro events who purposely manipulated event progression for their own gain, resulting in an unfair experience for other players. As a result, action has been taken against these players, which includes disqualification from the event, temporary account ban, permanent account ban, device ban. That's big. That means you can't even use a burner account or backup account on your console. You will need a whole burner or backup console. They said, and or rep progression reset they said we are looking into additional steps to prevent this type of behavior for future micro events in addition the new top six players of season four rumble of the k event will receive the appropriate rewards if you believe you have been incorrectly banned please open a ticket with 2k support for further assistance thank you for your understanding and cooperation and we work to maintain a fear and enjoyable experience for all players now this isn't new this battle isn't new with 2k and cheetahs to the extent that i don't really even care about events because you know it's filled with cheetahs and the top 10 or even the top 20 players has been cheating because my argument is this if these people are throwing games to win these people are cheating their ass off from beginning to end to win What's going on with second place, third place, fourth place, who is extremely close? How are you that close and not cheating? Let me know. So I'm sorry. A lot of people been saying, nah, bro, I win it the right way. I'm like, bro, how can you keep up with a cheater like this, bro? How? That's like looking like a, a bodybuilder on steroids right there. And next one, just as big as him with a little bit smaller saying, nah, bro, I'm natty, bro. I'm natty. I don't do steroids. I don't believe that, my G. I'm sorry. So with that being said, that's why I, in years, I haven't really cared about even or even attempted to win any of these events. Now, again, this is not something new because remember last week, about a week ago, every time you about a week ago, <laughs> the viral song comes back in my head, to be honest with y'all. Um, statistics with a, huge content creator within 2k he's a huge streamer he actually made a post on twitter showing that 2k banned him for cheating in one of these events and how did he get caught it seemed like snitches again i report this last week are winning in 2k because someone under that post saying w god is good and they showed that they reached out to 2k support and snitched on statistics and for all their troubles, they got 15,000 VC. So be careful right now in the 2K community. The centric is someone I spoke on recently as well. See my brute out here looking like Vlad TV, man. I ain't gonna front with y'all. I speak on somebody that got banned. I gotta be careful. Do not end up on brute videos. <laughs> now, the centric last week was defending his right to spend as much money as he wants on my team game mode. Remember when 2K dropped that level 100 card, the whole community was starting to go in on 2K and it seemed like a lot of people started to go at a lot of my team content creators as well. So the Cedric came forward and he did a video and I reacted to it and I kind of said, I um, 
okay, I see what you're going with there. And I gave him the benefit of the doubt. And I said, I agree with what he's saying. Because basically he was saying a lot of people was trying to bully him about spending his money. And he had the right to spend on how or on what he want to. And I was like, you're right. You're right. Now, a week removed from that, 2K hit him with a band hammer. Now, this is not for cheating in my team. Instead, it's for him going on a very serious rant. Now, this is what brought it to my attention when I saw Airy Sky post a clip of 2K banning the centric off him find out he got banned. And he said, got his ass. And I want y'all to check this clip out. Out the most so he can register. That had nothing to do with anything. Somebody just caught it. <sighs> look at what they look at what they did. Somebody reached out. That's grimy. Look at what No, there are a few people that responded. I saw Lamar here saying wishing that on someone while being incredibly racist isn't something that should be tolerated. And I saw a chef said he wanted the owner of 2K to die in a car crash and was making racial comments. I also saw some people defend him saying, well, in that case, that's illegal. He didn't threaten anybody, just wish that on somebody, which is completely out of pocket and weird. But Wang, who they say Mike Wayne basically, or Mike Wong, acted sentimentally. The new terms pretty much got his ass. Now, I really was trying to find this clip. So I started going down that rabbit hole. You know your boy gotta get the news for y'all, man. I gotta get it for y'all. Now I went to this person, Carlos saying, new TOS already cooking. And then I saw the post right here from Stax. You see, like this was the person that actually put out the clip that got him banned. It seemed like this is a burner account. No image, no pictures, nothing. And the caption was, 2K YouTuber, Decentric, goes full races on Mike Wayne after losing a game of 2K and they tag everybody and their mama, y'all. I'm telling y'all, this is my warning to y'all right here before I show this clip. In your streams, there are a lot of supporters and a lot of people that love you, but there are also a lot of people waiting for you to slip up and praying for your downfall. And what he did right here was give them the ammo to get him, to pretty much get him out of dodge okay now i'm gonna try to censor this as much as possible because it is distasteful to watch so i want y'all to check this clip out but that is that that's why i want to take it because how bad this game is that's sad he's sad bro man Little one inch having ass, bitch, bro. Is it the stereotype that they can't drive? Get in, the, get in a car accident already, bro. I'm saying some sicko shit. I don't give a fuck, bro. Man, fuck this game, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was going too far, in my opinion. A lot of y'all, no disrespect. No disrespect, a lot of y'all forget that y'all got real lives outside of the internet. Like something like this, something like this could ruin future opportunities for future jobs or future relations. Somebody could pull this up and this could follow you wherever you go in life. Y'all gotta be careful with this internet, my G. Outside of 2K banning you. Outside of 2K banning you, my G, this is going too far. You got to think. I know y'all think because y'all live stream, y'all could be an extra and be entertaining. Yes, you can. But there are consequences on the internet, my G. Every th time you say something on the internet, remember, they can't bring it all the way back to you. A lot of people lost huge deals, huge opportunities because people went back in the internet history and pull up a bunch of dirt 
and this will stick with you throughout your career, my G. A lot of people, they're not putting up with this type of disrespect no more. So you all be careful going forward because 2K got full access to everything on your account and they could pretty much wipe it and there's no consequences to them technically according to their TOS. Would they stand up in court? Who knows? You might have to speak to your lawyer about that. That's my recommendation to y'all is go and speak to a lawyer if it's that serious to you. If it's not, just don't play 2K. But at the end of the day, what he did right here, that's gonna stay with you, my G. That's something you're gonna have to live with right there. One rant, one rant is bigger than 2K, my G. And y'all gotta remember that. Now, if you're not a content creator and not streaming, you can go on whatever rant you want. It is what it is. But to do it on the internet, my G, <laughs> y'all be forgetting, boy. This internet ain't nothing to play with. But let me know what y'all think about the video, man. Y'all know what's your boy Sim. 2K ain't playing, man. They ain't playing. This new TOS. <laughs> Things about to get serious, man. Y'all got to start walking that straight and narrow going forward. So, of course, we can discuss more on this live because your boy about to go live. Make sure you get a notification bell unlock. If you're first time to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe. I'll bless you until next time. Be safe out there, y'all. Peace. <laughs> 2K not playing, boy.